Let's take a look at some Daisy BB guns. Which one is the best and which one would you pick? Let's find out. All right guys, so if you're looking for a Daisy BB gun, you're not sure which one to get for yourself or for someone else, let me help you compare some of these. First up is the smallest one. This is the Youth Daisy Buck. So this is gonna be for a first time shooter, someone just wants to mess around for something cheap or for you know training the kids how to use uh, a BB gun safely. The Daisy Buck is lever action. It holds these same BBs as the rest of them, these .177s. You're just gonna need some safety glasses for ricochets. And it's a great little shooter. It shoots the same power as the rest of these. It's just a little bit smaller. And I would say it's about as accurate as the other ones. And to load these BBs, you're gonna put them in right in this little reservoir here. Holds about 600 BBs, so it holds a ton. Just gotta close it up and you're pretty much good to go. It's got iron sights, and let's give it a shot. All right, so let's give the Daisy Buck a shot. Again, lever action. You just gotta make sure it's fully cocked all the way. Take it off safe, use the iron sights, and let's see if we can hit a can over there for you. It's definitely got a little bit of spring, even though it's smaller and for kids, it's got a little bit of punch to it. Not bad, pretty accurate. One more pretty cool so i would say for one of the smallest cheapest bb guns that's not bad let's move on to the next one the next bb gun we're going to take a look at is the daisy model 25 the difference is obvious in this one this is a pump action one so it's not the lever action like you see in the rest of them um this one shoots again the same power about 350 feet per second as the rest of them the one major difference besides the pump is the way you reload this this one does not hold 600 some bbs like the rest it holds when you unscrew the barrel you can hold about i don't know 50 some bullets in there or bbs rather and uh it's not bad it's pretty accurate it's got flip up sights iron sights down here let me show you that but let's get test it out and see what you guys think all right so let's do some plinking with the daisy model 25 again the difference of this one is going to be the pump action and i'll unscrew this real quick for you here so you can see how you load it you got to unscrew the barrel pull that out and you can load some bbs right in there and you got to screw it back in it's kind of a pain in the butt comparatively to the other three bb guns that i will show in this video but all right it's back in i'm off safety you gotta pump it once. It's pretty cool, I like that. I hit it, didn't knock it over though. You know what? Hit it again, didn't knock it over. There we go, solid hit, solid hit. This. One more, one more. Oh man, come on. Man, I'll tell you, this didn't seem like it was shooting as straight or as strong as the other ones, even the youth one. So I would say, to be honest, this is my least favorite of the four Daisy BB guns that I've shown in this video so far. Let's move on to the next one and see what you think. All right, guys, next one is the Daisy Model 1999. This is this beautiful teal one here. Some of the differences on this one is it's going to have a bigger loop and it has these fancy fiber optic sights that do actually make it helpful especially when it starts getting a little bit darker outside if you're trying to still do some plinking uh the barrels if you notice i got them lined up next to a daisy adult rifle um it's a tiny bit shorter but it shoots just as well and just as strong but let's prove it and find out let's take a couple shots with the daisy model 1999 carbine and see what you guys think here I do appreciate these fiber optic sights on the end here. I do appreciate that. It does make it easier. It's consistent. It's got decent power. I definitely like this better than the pump action. Pretty consistent. All right, back on safety. So I know these also, by the way, come in pink in case you're interested. Uh, this is my girlfriend's BB gun of choice. And I also really enjoy this one too.
All right, guys, last up on the list is the Daisy Red Rider. This is the adult version of the Daisy BB gun. This is a little bit longer than you can see the youth size one. It shoots 350 feet per second like the rest, holds the same BBs like the rest. You fill it up the same way like the rest. But in my opinion, this one feels the most comfortable for me. And let's give it a shot. So let's shoot the Daisy Red Rider. So again, lever action. Pull it back once, take it off safety, and you're pretty much good to go. Let's take some shots here. I would say this one is the most consistent out of all of them that I've shown. Uh, I've definitely had the most practice with this one, so I'm more used to it. But I would say out of all these, I would go with a Daisy Red Rider uh, due to the power consistency, the accuracy consistency, and also the fact that you can hold about 600 BBs in there is pretty good. And if you guys have stuck around in the video this long, thank you so much. Hope you guys can like and subscribe and stick around. I'm going to take some shots at some of these other targets here for your entertainment. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you later. All right, guys, thanks for watching the review. Let's have some fun. Let's do some plinking. Let's go with the Daisy Adult Red Rider, my favorite. Let's try to clear the board of these cans as fast as I can. Let's go. good let's switch let's switch let's go with the girl's favorite let's go with the model 1999 carbine with these fancy fiber optic sights let's see if we can get something spinning here pretty good let's go i hit something i heard it oh no <laughs> there we go uh oh, two for one. It's like I'm shooting to the right too much. There we go. Let's pump action here. So while this one is not as easy to reload as I showed you in the review, I do really like the pump. It is pretty good. It's kind of awkward to hold, but let's see if I can still hit anything with it. Oh, I went to go for the lever action and forgot it was the pump action. Let's see, what can we hit here? Oh, I got one. Got one. Oh man, they're moving now. Ah! There we go. All right, back on safe. Let's go with the little guy. Daisy Buck 105. This is what we started on. Found this on Amazon for $9 with free shipping. And that's kind of how all this came into play. But let's give this a shot. It's so small. Let's see. Still has enough power and it's got a good little spring to it. Oh no. Miss. I don't know. You know, it's kind of like, you know how you see those videos where Shaq is holding like one of those bottles of water that's normal sized, but doesn't look normal sized. That's kind of how these feel, I think, with an adult. They're a little bit too small and I'm kind of tucked away too much. Um, but I think for someone that's, you know, a little shorter or smaller, or, you know, for kids, it's still a good option. But let's go back. Let's go back to the tried and true. See if I can hit some stuff. Let's go. Let's see if I can hit some stuff. Oh, it's so much easier. It's so much easier for me like this. See, I can hit him like almost every time with this thing. Let's see, what am I going for here?
Yeah. Come on, let me get one more. There we go, pretty good. All right, guys, well, thanks for sticking around for some plinking too. I'll see you guys in the next one. Again, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. It really helps out a lot. All right, guys, see you in the next one.